Okay, if you can hear me. I uh, was going to stream this today, but my internet keeps going out. I don't know why. I don't know, it keeps doing it. I keep getting the stream going and then it crashes. So, no stream, no live stream today. But I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still draw this butterfly and record it and put it up on YouTube maybe, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully this isn't too big a deal. Anyways, today I'm going to be drawing and creating some line art for this red spotted purple butterfly. If you need to see a picture, if you just feel like seeing a picture, then there's a link in the description down below where you can find uh, the URL for my website where I have the reference images for this. Oh, I'm all kerfuffled today because the stream wasn't working. I really wanted this to be a live stream. But anyways, I think I'm going to start just with some basic shapes, getting some proportions down, some angles correct. Alright, so butterflies are very proportional, so I'm actually going to use my ruler today to make sure I get my butterfly wings approximately the right size, the right distance away from each other. And I'm going to make you about six inches, I think. About six inches there. So that would be, what, about three inches down here. How tall are you, buddy? Say two and a half. Say two and a half. Give myself some quick references. So that means my three inch will be down here. These are just some quick reference points here. All right, geez. So I know approximately where I want my wings to stop, just at these points. See, here's my head. He's gonna start out with a little head like this. And then he's got, it looks like two sections to his body, if I had to guess. Let's say this first section in a little tube like so. And then his second section is a much more distinctive shape. Doesn't go all the way down. Starts about right here, I think. And that one kind of curves like a seed pod. There we go. It's our first basic shape. Get his little antennas in there. Alright, now these wings. Now this is where I want my point to be. And this is where it's going to start. And it arcs up like this. And then back down toward my point here. And my point is a curve like this. And then his wing kind of hinges in a little bit and then goes down. And then this section folds all the way back up to here. So I think we're going to do a straight line down like that. Maybe a little more of a curve. Like that. There we go. There's one part of that wing. I think I'm going to do the other half of this big section of wing here first while I've got the curve in my head. Same thing on this side, and we're just, there's a little swoop, his wing tucks in a little bit, and then curves straight down. Where's that about at? Like that. And then, ooh, straightish line. There we go. Coming together. Alright, now this section is like a pie slice almost. So I'm going to start out by his wing comes down like a little bit more from his butt like that on either side. And then they swoop down just a little bit and then back up and then sort of into like a curve. This one swoops down, 
scooped up and sort of like a curve. All right, that's not a perfect shape, but it's a basic shape. Let's see if we can alter this. Since we're going for line art here more than shading, I'm free to really just focus on the lines. I'm gonna widen his body a little bit at the top here. And I'm gonna do something with these wings. I feel like you should stop earlier maybe. I feel like your little uh, line here should be more dramatic. Ooh, and like that. Uh, but not that far. Yeah, I like that. Let's erase these two lines on either end that I don't like here. It's a little better of a shape. But I still think I'm gonna pop this corner out a little bit more. That means I gotta pop this one out a little more. And then, let's see. If I was doing this on a computer, I could just flip this around, I guess, but... I'm just fiddling with the shape here, is all I'm doing. I'm going to turn this a little bit for a minute so that it's easier. I don't have to keep, I don't have to keep this the same orientation all the time. See, it's already so much easier to create this symmetry after I turned it a little bit. Necessary lines here. Oh no, did I pop my? I think I popped my sketchbook up onto my my microphone. I hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. Now see that wing? That wing looks too wide. No. I do probably too much erasing, but I'm, I guess, a perfectionist at heart. So I end up just sort of making these fine-tuned adjustments all the time. shape. I like that shape. Alright. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to be okay with it. Let me round this out a little more. try and get some of these sections marked off here. We've got these cool 
little like eye pieces. Sorry, I keep hitting my microphone with the sketchbook. That's that's my bad. Sorry. We've got these two little pieces here that I really like that look like eyes. My husband pointed out to me that if you look at it the right way, this looks like an owl. And I can totally I can totally see it. Let's see if I can go that a little further. a little wide this. And then this line, there's a line that goes right here and it goes all the way out to the edge there. There's another one on this side. I think I'm making mine a little bit bigger than it would be, but it's okay. Let's clean up these sections here. Now normally uh, when I'm sketching uh, this early on, when I'm sketching this early on into a piece, I wouldn't be quite so careful about erasing all the time and getting my shapes exactly right because I would shade over top of it to create to create more shape and depth to the to the piece but for this one I want to do I want to do line art so let's look at this wing this wing looks all schnittered I think I didn't make it long enough I feel like you need to come down a little more, like this. And I keep doing this. I keep just altering the shape little by little until I get something that I like. And I like that more. I think that's a little better. All right, go away ruler. Now I'm gonna sharpen this pencil because it's been getting pretty dull and I haven't sharpened it. But these fine lines I'm gonna do on the wing for some of these wing details are actually pretty important to have a sharp pencil. I'm gonna carefully sharpen this up. That wing goes a little bit over here, like that. All right, let's see. I'm gonna split this into little sections here. Base of my eye goes about right here. a little high. There we go. All right, now that's separated out. I can just add in a couple more. There's just a couple more fanning lines. Start smaller here and then get a little bit wider as you head to the edge of the wing there. that'll do and then we just have a few more lines actually right here not too many lines in this section let me do one more right there 
Now I'm going to do the same thing over here on this section. Have this loof out like that. Now we'll do this bottom wing section here, and it's got some very distinctive spots, so it's pretty easy to know how many lines there are going to be. It's one, two, three, four, five, and then the edge of the wing. Alright, so I'm going to start one, two, three, four, five. I see that's far too, far too big. It's obviously not going to work. I think I'm going to split this in half and then mark out, let's see, these bottom sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now I can just put these lines like here. Two, three. I'm going to do the same thing on this side since it looks like it's got the same number of spots here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe a little bit right there. These lines sort of swoop in like that. Move my camera a little bit. Like this wing is still longer. I mean, it's not really though. All right, let's start putting in some of this cool design, I guess. All right, let's see. We've got a line and swoops down like this. Sort of a Nike swoosh. And you're gonna be all black. I 
There's some black spots and there's some white spots. You've got these teeny tiny white bits here at the very edges of their wings that are super pretty. And then we've got this white spot here. And then there's sort of like a gray spot or like a white spot with a line through it. do the same thing for the rest of these I guess all right your black spots make sort of a W here Just filling in some rectangles here. These awesome orange spots here. This is so hard to do with the in these tiny rectangles because they're my favorite.
start going in, I think, with my... Really quick before I start in with my pen, I'm just going to mark in the leaf that this guy is sitting on. A little background leaves. I think that'll go for now. All right, now I'm gonna come in with, what, like a medium? Point 0.03 pen, I think. Start this off. Point zero 0.03. What is this? A Prismacolor? My Prismacolor Premier. <laughs> Sounded silly. Prismacolor Premier. Didn't sound any less silly. Sorry. I'm just gonna start throwing in some lines here. Be careful, I'm turning the page. Let's see. I'm gonna do the bottom of that in an even smaller pencil, so. I guess this is a pen, an even smaller pen, so. Hold off on that one for a second. Oh, 
and I get out my tiny 0 0.5 pen if I can find it I guess this is this is my tiny one never mind this will do all right I'm gonna very carefully draw a very fine line on the bottom side of this wing This is the part I'm always afraid I'm gonna mess up. Could be because my hand's not very steady. So I've gotta be extra super careful. Do I want to line? Definitely these buddies. Because I quite like those. pretty good. I think I'll pull out my heavier pen, my little bit of a bigger pen here for these spots on the bottom and this stripy line.
I might go in and fill these in a little bit more later. I haven't decided yet. Let's see how it goes. These have sort of a crazy shape to them. Now that I'm looking at them a little closer, they sort of go whoop and then whoop. That. Yeah, that's a cool shape. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna make that shape some more. Try not to nudge the camera, too. Let's see. over my camera. You guys are just pretty, pretty triangular from here. up until you blend back into your swoosh here. Alright, now I'm going to do this crazy hamburger stuff here. Now I'm connecting the top of my hamburger buns here to my black spots because they're all connected right, right in there. Just lengthening out my black spots here a little.
Let me break out my tiny one here for these little white spots. These tiny, tiny guys. I don't know how well these little white spots are going to show up in my final piece. So I've got these nice white gel pens that I'm going to use to fill these in if necessary. There we go. Now I can finish that hamburger pattern. I'm going to use my bigger marker for this. Here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm going to leave the sides here blank for now. And probably fill them in a little later. because there's some blue lines in there that I want to make sure to get with my markers. That's a cat up on my computer. Give me a second. Hello, Miss Kitty. You know you're not supposed to be back here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to be back there. You're supposed to be up here with me. Here we go. You want to sit with me in the mount? You know you're not allowed behind the computer. No, you're getting. Yeah, okay. Now I gotta find my teeny brush. Come back to these awesome little white spots here. spot right there. We got a couple tiny white spots right there. Yeah, you can definitely tell which side of the wing is easiest for me, I guess. You're not very black at all. You're mostly blue. So we're gonna wait and fill that in with marker. But I think I will put in a couple of lines with my medium pen on these little leaves. fancy. I don't want to take away from my butterfly after all. Just a couple of lines. If I could get my hand in here.
just a little bit, trying not to knock over my camera again. This is all I'm doing for right now. Alright, now I'm going to go and erase my pencil lines. So I think I made some unnecessary pencil lines for sure. I got this nice tube of eraser. If I don't kill myself with it here, I'm going to just roll it across here. This is just a kneadable eraser. You can knead erasers into any shape you need, and this works great for erasing line work over broad sections. It's this little tubular model. A couple of places I didn't get as well. Or was a little too heavy with the pencil. So here's the line drawing for our little butterfly. He's a little wonky, but I think we can we can figure that out. But yeah, join me next week where I will be trying out my brand new markers that I just got in the mail a few hours ago actually at this point. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Let's see, it's oh hoo 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 oh hoo hoo markers that I decided to get. We're gonna fill them in. See. Ooh, pretty, look how many markers! I'm so excited to try these. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I am gonna have so much fun with these markers, you guys. But anyways, that's for next week. We're gonna be filling in these cute butterfly drawings and we're gonna see how these markers work. I've never used markers before. Although I don't guarantee that I will be able to resist trying them out before next week with the butterfly. The butterfly might end up being my second or third experiment with markers, but it'll still be early on. I've never used markers before right now, so it'll be fun. I'm excited. Join me next week if the live stream works, and uh, we'll color this little guy in. Bye.